In this video, I'm going to show you some of the places that I frequently visit when I have a problem when it comes to developing Power BI reports. I'm going to go through them one by one and also what kind of help you can get from them in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So encountering problems and issues when you're developing Power BI reports is not very uncommon. Maybe you forgot how to do a sum of a certain column, or maybe you found a potential bug that you want to double check. And identifying these problems and trying to fix them alone can be quite daunting. Luckily, the Power BI community is quite huge and very active. So it means that if you have any questions or problems, most likely other people have encountered these problems and potentially fixed it as well. The quickest and what I do most frequently is Googling the questions that I have, adding as much details as I can to see any relevant articles, forum posts, or documents around the topic. The next one that I frequently use is the Microsoft documentation, specifically the DAX function reference. I use this documentation a lot if I want to help myself with official documents published by Microsoft about different DAX functions in Power BI. Most of the time I use it to check on DAX formulas to get more information and details about them, such as things like their parameters, returns, or some examples of how they're used. For example, we want to know more about a function called product. So in order to do that, you simply just type the function that you want to see. It will also suggest to you the page that gives you some more details about that function. And here you go. So it gives you a lot of information about that function itself. So the syntax, parameters, return values, and some examples that you can use in order to understand more about the docs function itself. And because this documentation is managed by Microsoft, we know that this is always up to date every time the DAX code is updated or if new ones are added. The next place that I frequently go to as well is the Power BI community site. So here's where you can leverage the collective knowledge of the community to get answers to your questions. So from here, you can choose a range of topics like let's say desktop, uh, service, data modeling, report server, etc., to see what conversations and questions are happening on those topics. You can use it to see if someone has already asked or answered a question you need, or post your own if it's not there yet. When you post it, you'll get help from the community and contribute to those who will have the same problem in the future. However, to post your questions or topics in the community site, you'll need to register with a Power BI account. I covered how to create your own Power BI account without a work email uh, in a different video. So go check that out if you haven't yet. The next place that I go to is the Power BI subreddit. Uh, it's a great place to get help similar to the community site. So if you're having problems setting up a Power BI account to access and post in the community site, the subreddit is a great alternative. I use it quite a lot because I'm used to how Reddit works and I find that the community in the Power BI subreddit tends to be a lot more active when it comes to answering questions. The next place that I head on over to are the various Power BI groups on Facebook. So I've joined a bunch of different Facebook groups around Power BI to reach as much of the community as I can. So the one that I can recommend to you is the Global Power BI User Group. So same deal as Reddit, you can find or try to find the questions you're looking for, or if it's not there, you can post to get help from the thousands of users in that group. And that's really it for this video. So those were the sites that I frequently visit if I have any problems or need help when it comes to Power BI development. I'll leave the links to these sites in the description box below so you can follow them and get help if you need it. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.